It was probably the biggest gamble of my career, you know, bowling on uh, on that wicket because it meant we were batting last. Um, and it really was, you know, one of those decisions where I walked out to toss with Sir Ganguly and I still wasn't sure until about 30 seconds before he tossed and he presented his team sheet and there was only two spinners in the starting eleven, and I thought there might have been three and that really just swayed it my way. I thought we'll, we'll bowl first, we've bowled these guys out in the previous three tests in Australia. I wanted to get off to a positive start, we had a good attack, good pace attack, but it was a gamble. Lovely delivery, it's taken the outside edge, that's a beauty from Fleming. Sachin Tendulkar comes out to the centre. A half century by Sachin Tendulkar, the only defiant stand by an Indian in the first innings. In the air and taken. Das flashing at that one outside the off stump. Matthew Hayden has made no mistake, that ball was travelling. Well, that's well taken, a first slip by Matthew Hayden. With Shane Bourne taking four wickets, the home side crumbled for 176. And another wicket here. Steve Waugh, the catcher this time. That's the edge, then taken. The Indian innings has come to an end. There's the gamble has paid off. Steve Waugh. That's it. Absolutely clean ball. Stumps all over the place. Slater comprehensively bowled by a go -go. Oh, and uh, the question's on. That's it. That's it. He's got him. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. First ball. Rock has gone. First ball. Ravi Shan Singh has got rid of the best player in Australia. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Yes, he's got him. It's all over. Steve Waugh's going. I look back at my memories of India and with great fondness. Goes that in the air too, just wide of uh, the Ganguly there, jumped in the air, but another fall. The coming of age of Matt Hayden, the cricketer, was in India, um, and it was just being able to execute key strategies which I'd really worked on very hard for a long period of time. There was a lot made about his preparation uh, in Brisbane going into that series. He, he got the, the curator at the AB Oval, I think it was, to prepare some wickets that were going to spin a lot, and he did a lot of tra um, practice against spin bowlers, and he went over there and basically just swept everything. I think it was a lesson to us all that uh, preparation is the key to the subcontinent. That uh, if we're going to. The sweep shot is a difficult shot to play. It's not something you can just adjust and, and play overnight and say, I'm going to play the sweep shot in this test match. You've got to prepare well for it. And he did that, and I think that was a lesson for everyone going forward that that, that was the key. Well, there it goes. He's got hold of that one too. Magnificently played. Well, Gilchrist is playing a blind up. He really is. That was probably. The you know, some of the best batting I've ever seen in Test Match cricket because the ball was turning almost square, it was bouncing a lot, very hard to hit against the spin, yet, yet these guys were hitting balls over mid-wicket, over square leg, over deep, wide mid-on. It was just phenomenal batting, they really just backed themselves and I think India just didn't know what to expect because they hadn't seen that type of batting before. He gets the single, that's a great Test Match 100 for Adam Gilchrist. Thanks to centuries by Gilchrist and Hayden, Australia took a 173-run lead on the first innings. And this will be his second. Lovely shot to bring up his 100. And what a partnership this is for Australia. And the visitors maintain the momentum with the ball. Chance here in the gully. I think it's come from the glove onto the helmet. Another short one. It's in the air. Oh, oh, he's got him. That's the end of Tendul cut. Big shout there, and he's, the nod has come from uh, Venkatraghavan. He says, you're on the way. Ah! Well, that's bowled him. Hit off stump, in fact. And got him around the wicket, nice and full. And he played over the top of it all. And that's got him. And that's the final wicket for India. 47 required to take a lead in this Pepsi Test Series. That's it. Australia have won 16 test matches in a row. They've won this one in great style. Yeah, outstanding uh, team team performance. Uh, the commitment by the team was first class. And I think that's one of the best test matches I've been involved in. And another one followed. Oh, great shot. Beautifully played down the ground. Lovely straight drive.
Hayden again brilliant, falling just three short of another century before the middle order became part of history. Oh, big appeal, yes, got him, out of LBW, Ricky Ponting, out of LBW, how about Sean Singh? Everyone else knows the danger that is Gilchrist. If he gets going, he's dynamite. He's on strike now. Oh, he's got him. Press ball. Oh, yes, he's got him. He has got him. Adam Gilchrist is out first ball. The crowd here are on their feet. Imagine the roar if they get Shane Warne out. And what's more, it'll be a hat trick. No Indian bowler has ever taken a test hat trick. Here we go. Can he do it? He looked there and it come flush off the bat. What a fabulous catch though. I got a letter from Prime Minister saying well done and congratulating me. That was something really special and very touching and very happy that, uh, you know, I was really happy that God has given me so much in uh, very little time. Whacked away on the onside. Good shot by Stephen Waugh. Tracked away and it's gone for fourth. I was selling 91 not out when Glenn McGraw walked out to Calcutta with 95,000. It was a dream of mine to score 100, what I consider, I guess, a home of cricket in the subcontinent. And, uh, and there was Pidge walking out, and I thought, well, I'd better get a bit of a hurry on here. He goes for the big one here, Steve Ball, and he's middled it. That sailed into the crowd. Got to 99. Then I dropped a single, and I just said to Glenn, come on, mate, let's go. And now takes the single. 100 for Steve Ball. Goes the hands, he punches the air. Oh, yeah! And the finger has gone up here. Steve Waugh has been a judge leg before. The Australian innings has come to an end. Australia all out 445. A long way away for India. Glenn McGrath with four wickets. The Indians dismissed for 171. And that's it again. Big shout, he's given it. And War decides to enforce the follow on. I look back on that, we, we bowled our teams the previous 33 times in a row because we won 16 previous test matches. So, um, so to me, uh, a 34th time was on the cards. Uh, we had a 275 run lead. Uh, and, and India, we'd, we'd bowled out previously in three tests in Australia, the test in Mumbai. So you know, we, I just thought it was a good thing that we'd, we'd bowl them out successfully again. Sachin Tendulkar is caught behind. The way Lakshman and Rahul batted was just outstanding. It was just, I've never seen something like that. This time he pulls and into the gap. There's the hundred. Lakshman's second test hundred. Beautiful shot again. Oh, that's a better shot. Down the ground by four. Well pitched up, smashed through the offside again. I can't imagine anyone batting any better than that. Uh, and Laxman was just outrageously uh, spectacular, just um, hitting against the spin. Every time he hit a shot, it was in the gap. His timing was, was exquisite. Um, and Drav, just a, a consummate professional. Um, you know, he was probably at his best in that series. And look, I certainly ran out of options as a captain. It's one of those times where you look around, you know, looking for a bit of help, and uh, everyone else says, uh, leave it alone, you're the captain, you make a decision now. for BBS Laxman. He's got it through. That's a fantastic century. Rahul Dravid. 250, BBS Laxman. Dravid one short of 150. And he gets it. And that has been, been a remarkable day for India. No wickets falling in the whole day. Standing ovation from the crowd, from the Australian fielders, and most importantly, from their colleagues. And he's out. VVS Laxman is out. 
608 for five, and Vivius Lakshman class dismissed on 281. There's a problem here. Yeah, Rahul Dravid has run out. 180, superb effort. Right, well, they've declared 657 for seven. has gone up. In the air and got him. He's out. It's overlooked a lot of times the reason why we lost that test and it was our batting in the last session. We lost six wickets in the last session. I'm still on a wicket. We're still pretty flat. And it really was um, a, a bit of careless stroke play. They, they bowl well. They caught magnificently. Combination of things, but, but realistically we shouldn't have been bowled out. And hit his back leg. What will the umpire do? Give it out. I think we bowled really well on the fifth day and I... I took six wicket in the second inning, and Sachin was the second best bowler. You know, he took uh, three important wickets. He got Gilchrist out, Hayden out, and uh, Shane Vaughan out, and uh, and we won the game. That was a fantastic game I've ever played and never been involved, and it was just amazing. We didn't play it that well today. I mean, we knew what we had to do to draw the game and we weren't quite good enough. So we've got to go back to the drawing board, have a look at uh, how we got out and try and rectify that in a couple of days' time. It's the kick. Good back, thanks. Oh, and a good start for Matthew Hayden. Short delivery, pulled away for four. We made a conscious decision before the test match. Our team meeting was to be very aggressive against the spin, to take them on. And lovely shot. Down the wicket he goes. What a confident shot. That's a six. Down the track, Mark War. This time he goes. He hasn't quite hit it properly mid-off, getting under it. And well taken. So Bartle Toule has uh, lured Mark War into the lofted shot. There it is. It's 100 to Matthew Hayden. That's worth a shout. And oh, he's got to be out. He's just hit it with his hand, and they're appealing, and he's been given out. Steve War uh, suddenly heard the ball bounce near the stumps. The automatic reaction was to put his hand out. Steve War's dismissal triggered a collapse. The last seven wickets falling for 51. Abhijan has got Ricky Ponding first ball with the straight one. Hayden fighting until the very end. And he goes towards the fence. Will it get there? Will it go for four to bring up the 200? And uh, well done, Matthew Hayden. 200 for Matthew Hayden. Oh, he's hit that one straight down the ground. This is going to be caught. Yes, he'll be caught. He's hold out of deep mid off. That's unfortunate. Well, it's the end of a superb innings. Matthew Hayden has held this Australian uh, batting side together in this innings. He's batted right down to the very last and he's being congratulated by all and sundry. Oh, good shot, beautifully played. Oh, and he smashed it away for four. Yeah! Big shout, now he's got an inside edge, he has. So finally he's trying to get a wicket. Down the ground he goes, oh, great shot. The first ball of the third day. And that's a big swing delivery, and McGrath has done exactly what Australia wanted. A magnificent shot. That's a batsman in form. Taken, what a brilliant catch there by Mark War. It went quickly and it went down. And he watches that to the fence. What a shot. What a cricket shot. Dulka has gone for the big one and draw up his hundred in style. 25th hundred in Test Match Cricket. Tendulkar's century, the highlight of a solid batting performance. India with a 110 run first innings lead. 126 for Sachin Tendulkar, what an innings been. Oh, he's hit that one, it's going to be caught. No, it won't. It... Oh, it's a great effort, what a catch, what a catch. Oh, that's well bowled. That's out. He's out. WW. That's him. 
shot and hammered. Mark Wars punished it and reached his half century. In the air, brilliantly taken. That is a magnificent catch. Oh, that's worth shouting, and he's got him. He's got Shane Warne with the last ball of the day. And in the air, and he's out. So Steve War is the first to go this morning. Oh, wow, that series 2001 was uh, something special for me. You know, it, it 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 changed my life, not just my cricket. It it did change my life in the terms of uh, you know people started to recognize me. You know what I do. And, and people wanted to know me. Who am I? Up goes the finger. He was looking to sweep round the corner. Again, the shot selection not right. Eight in this innings for Harbhajan, 15 in the match. India needing 155 to win. Up in the air, and Glenn McGrath gets his breakthrough with a quicker bouncer. Next up, run out, Lutzman sending back Ramesh there. Yeah, he is out. That's a very good bouncer from Jason Gillespie. This time straight to Mark Wall. That's in the air, and yes, he's got him. That's out. He's caught him. This match is not over yet. Short delivery. Oh, he's got him. What a catch. What a catch. What an unbelievable catch. He's got to go. Mark Wall has taken an absolute blinder here in Chennai. Could this be the catch that swings the test match? Yeah, that's it, he's got it, that's out. It's another one down, it's another one down. India, it's not over yet. In the air, got him, caught, he's got him. Mark Warren getting to the action. One of the great fast bowlers of all time is the ball in his hand. He is roaring in now at the Habajan Singh. Oh, he's got it away. This will be it. He'll come back for the second. India have won the test match. India have won the series. This wonderful test series is over. D-Day celebrates Habajan Singh, who has done so much. All those wickets is out in the centre, and appropriately so. I look back on that as probably the greatest test series I've played in and, uh, and not for one second was I disappointed we lost because we gave it everything, we, we committed to it, we, we trained hard, we played aggressive cricket, at the end of the day we were beaten by probably a better side and there were three phenomenal test matches, they did a lot for relationships between Australia and India uh, and I look back following on that series, uh, I wish we would have won it but uh, I'm not disappointed we lost because of the way we played.